Hello, my name is Joel Ababa, and I'm the Franchise King. I'm also the Dean of Franchise Business University, which you can find at FranchiseBusinessUniversity.com. Check it out after this video and uh, uh, see if you like what is offered at the university. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about, well, universities and learning. And the fact that if you are just starting to search for a franchise, if you are just starting to consider being your own boss, you don't know a lot. How could you know a lot? You know, there's a saying that we're all kind of dumb until we're not. Well, that goes in franchising also. Before I knew about franchising, I was dumb. I didn't know anything about franchising. How could I? And how could you know anything about franchising if you don't learn about it? Do you think that you're going to go onto a franchise opportunity portal or a website and click and all of a sudden find that perfect franchise where you can make $300,000 in your second year in business and you won't have to work full time and yada, 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 right down the rabbit hole? Of course not. You have to learn what to look for. You have to learn about yourself. You have to make sure that you're right for franchising. And I say the simplest way to do it is to start at the beginning. You really need a proper introduction to franchise. And good thing for you, I provide it at FranchiseBusinessUniversity.com. I teach you the basics about the franchise business model. I show you how to find out if you're a good candidate for franchise ownership. There's a section in the free course, which is called, interestingly enough, a proper introduction to franchising. There's an entire section on the pros and cons of franchise ownership, the pros and cons of taking a risk, a financial risk, and becoming the owner of a franchise. It's not perfect. Franchising is not perfect. There are pluses and minuses. Find out what they are. There are also a lot of myths about franchising, a lot of Cool catchphrases like, uh, well, when you buy a franchise, you're really, essentially, blah, 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 buying a business in a box. Okay, if it really was a business in a box, uh, there would be a lot more people taking the financial risk to buy a franchise. It's not instant. It's not all set up for you. You don't walk in, put your key in the door, unlock it, and voila, you're a franchise owner. It's a lot more complicated. But there is a lot of great support, and there are, there are a lot of good systems in place to make your new business launch positive and successful. I talk about it in the franchise course, the free one, a proper introduction to franchising. Speaking of franchising, it does take money to do this, folks. If you want to buy a franchise, you cannot do it with no money down. There's no such thing as a no money down loan. If you apply for a small business loan, a franchise loan, you're going to need to put some money in of your own. And I talk about that also. Get a proper introduction to franchising so you know what you're doing, so you know if you should go this route or not. It's a free course. Check it out at FranchiseBusinessUniversity.com, where I'm the dean and I'm the king, Joel Lavava. Thanks for watching. Good luck on your journey to becoming your own boss. I'm rooting for you, but only if it's the right thing.